mini penne veggie alio. No soup for you. Oh look, we got company. Today we're gonna have some mini penne alio with uh, some garden vegetables. Next. Like this. Pick up some spices. Hmm. What's going on here? I better call somebody. Courtesy desk. Uh, yeah, there's a man fondling the spices. I got a lady. Yards Jefferson Ave. I prefer the brawler best, but gold nail's pretty good. It's a beautiful thing. It pays to look clean. First, you fry up your sausage. About one pound per pound of macaron. Good and brown. Come down the middle. Inside. Cosa c'è per cena, padre? Nice colored peppers here. Mmm. Nice little pieces. Vaffanculo. And you throw the peppers in the sausage oil. Cook them up very lightly. We're not making Italian hot dogs here, so you don't want them to be too soft. Around a little bit. Keep the top on it, keeps them nice and moist. Who got my door all dirty? Eat your sweet sunburst. Grape tomatoes, these are the yellow. I like the yellow ones. They're nice and sweet. Use about half the box for a pound of macaroni. Oops. Cut these into quarters. I don't cook these. I do these raw. Ooh, my soap's on. I don't want to get married. Finally, you admit it. I wish you the best of luck in L.A. You're too good for her, Jack. Mmm, potatoes and eggs. Oops, wrong video. I've made this with either arugula or the uh, spring mix. Turn on your water, salt, cover that up. Has anyone ever told you you look exactly like Al Pacino? And here's the tricky part. Not too tricky, but you put the arugula in, in the same oil. The heat is off. I don't, I don't cook it. I just throw it in the hot pan from the sausage. <laughs> you let it sit. You gotta use a lot because it shrinks up pretty good. <laughs> See what I mean, how it shrinks down? I get a lot of comments on the stove. That's something I never saw on a range before. It's a 1952 O'Keefe and Merritt window double oven. Dashboard top features six burners, clock and timer, bifold range cover, crumb trays, double oven, double broiler. She's a beautiful old workhorse who's certainly seen her share of cooking in our house for the last 25 years. You trying to put that big turkey into your oven? Yeah. <laughs> Chop up your sausage. Well, all the jokes can't be good. You've got to expect that once in a while. You can cut it as small as you want, as big as you want. I like to cut it small so that there's a piece in every bite. This started out as one of those, what do we have hanging around in the refrigerator dishes? Oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Una cosa di bellezza. Mmm, look at all that. Our old friend, the Sandman. Just a splash of tawny port. Not too much, you don't want it to be watery. There's my little helper. Don't eat that. Open it in your mouth. Vaffanculo. Next! Carlini Extra Virgin Olive Oil. This is one of the better olive oils I ever had. Believe it or not, you get it at Aldi's. It's good for the price. Now, you don't want to drown it in olive oil. It already has oil from the sausage in there. Don't forget the parsley. Throw your tomatoes in and they'll, uh, they'll be nice and fresh and crisp and they'll, they'll warm up just a little bit because of the hot macaroni. Add your grated cheese. Cheese is very important. It really gives it, it pulls everything, all the flavors together. Make sure everybody has enough for their dish. You can use the tricolor penne too. Tricolore, which looks like this. Mmm, crushed red pepper flakes give it a nice kick. Graduate, you degree. Mamma mia! So, so that, what would you do? Nine dollars and forty cents? This is an outrage! If I were you, I wouldn't pay it. Oh, gone. Bunch of Gavones. This is the police. Step away from the spices. 